Howdy! With this tutorial, you'll be able to learn the basics of using keyframes and graphs to start your tweening journey. Not only that, but in the process we'll make a simple head bop animation. Let's begin. I'd recommend using picture-in-picture -picture and following along. Obviously, to start, you're going to have to have a light motion downloaded on your device. Then just make any project by pressing the green plus button. I personally use a 1080p 60 frames per second canvas with a light gray background, but you're welcome to use anything you'd like. As a placeholder, I'll import this Keanu asset using the media tab by opening this plus on the bottom left. You can also use any shape like a circle. Let's say our goal right now is to move him from one side of the screen to the other. First, let's adjust our pivot point, which is how our asset moves around. Tap the move layer button on the side, which looks like a plus with arrows. This will change it so that you can move the pivot itself. Use the trackpad at the bottom of your screen to move the pivot point. I'll set it on the torso of this Keanu. Click on the four arrow plus sign again to switch back to move layer. Open it and use this diamond to make a keyframe. Let's place it at the beginning of our layer. As you can see, there's a diamond on the track. A keyframe is the position of your asset. Consider these as steps. The first keyframe you make is the first step, and the next one you place is the next step. Depending on how far away your keys are from each other, it will move fast or slow. If they're far apart, it will move slowly, and if they're close together they'll move fast. Let's adjust Keanu and have his starting position on the left. Let's move further along the track and place another keyframe at the end. Use this touchpad on the bottom to move Keanu. You'll notice that there's a line path this is the path that your pivot point will move on. Once we do this and hit play, as you can see, Keanu moves from left to right on the path. Cool, right? But it looks pretty robotic. We can fix this by using graphs. Move in between your keyframes and click the graph under the diamond, and this will pull up the graph settings. The x-axis of the graph represents the distance between the keyframes, while the y-axis represents the position of the pivot point on the path. The higher the y-axis is, the further along it is on the graph. Select the second graph on the side of presets, and grab the white circle at the bottom of the graph, and drag it to the left. If we press play, you'll notice that it starts out slow, speeds up, and hits a sudden stop because the y-axis curves off at the bottom. It's slower at the beginning. This is called an ease-in graph. Select the third graph and grab the white circle at the top of the graph and drag it to the right. If we press play, you'll notice that it starts fast and then reaches a steady stop because this graph curves at the top, it slows down at the end. This is called an ease-out graph. The fourth one is a combination of the two. I'm going to keep mine on the one with the ease out graph. Up next are graphs and what they do. Keyframes can be used for many things such as rotating, scaling, skewing, opacity, volume, effects, and many more things. For now, let's use rotating. Select the rotating tab. For this, try to make your placeholder rotate 360 degrees in the same keyframe positions as before. Pause the video and try it yourself. What I did was place my keyframes edit the position by using this degrees slider and selected a graph. Let's use what we've learned so far on a different example. 
Here's an asset of Kiano, and I want to make a simple head bopping that will last for 3 seconds. We'll adjust the pivot points to where we want to move the part. For the head, the collar, and the torso, the bottom. And let's parent the head to the torso. To do this, press this button while selecting the head and link it to the parent. Anything that the parent does will affect anything linked to it. Let's add keyframes to the head with a distance of 3 seconds. The first keyframe will leave untouched, and the next one will move the head down. Using this repeating bounce graph, we can have it so that it begins to bounce on the path. We'll copy this graph for later. Press the three dots on the bottom and press the copy graph button. Remember how keyframes change more than just movement and rotations? Let's try an effect. To use an effect, select the torso, click on effects, press add effect, and search up scale assist. Press the option and select the scale slider. Place the first keyframe, using it as the starting position. Let's head over to the other side and make another keyframe and squeeze it a bit by increasing the value. Let's pull up the graph menu. Using the three dots, you can paste the graph we previously copied. If we play it from the start, you can see we've made a cute little head bopping. To make it faster or slower, you can adjust the graph. And we are done. You now know the basics of keyframes, graphs, and tweening as a whole. If you can't tell, it's going to be a long ride. Thanks for watching. Let's hope you learned something. And if you have any questions about the topic, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments or in a follow-up video. Anyways, see ya.